Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover a session on private routes in ReactJS. Now private routes are basically routes which are supposed to be used whenever you are handling some sensitive data in your website or trying to protect an authenticated request onto your ReactJS project. So this session is divided into three parts. The first part is going to be how to setting up a React router in our ReactJS project. In the middle, we understand how to add private routes in React router or a React.js project. And towards the end of the session, we will see some resources for your future reference. So with that in mind, let's start off with the session for the day. Now, today we are using white.js for creating our React.js project. It is similar to create React app, but a little bit lightweight. So what I have done is I have created a React.js project using white.js here. And this is the app.jsx file, which comes with white.js. And then I have run the command yarn dev to start the server in white.js project. Once you do that, you will be greeted with this home page, which is white plus react and some default text. So within this white JS project, what we'll do is we'll create two routes today. Routes are basically components which are mapped to some address in the browser. So the first page which we will create is a login page in which we will add some username, password field and a button to access the home page. And then we'll create a home page within which there will be no content, just a home page text which you assume will be the main page of your website, which you want to show to your logged in users. For example, when you are trying to sign into Facebook. So Facebook has a username and password field. Once you add that username and password, you are shown the Facebook homepage. That is the similar idea which we are going to use today. So what we are going to do is first we come back to the login page and let's just add some form fields so that user will be able to add their username and password. So in this login page, we have an export default function login. Then we will return some React.js code. I assume that you are a little bit familiar with React.js syntax. So we'll add a div and within that div, we will add a span tag or we can add a div at the top. Within that, let's add a span and we'll have username as our first form field. Then within this div itself, we will add an input for text. So input type is equal to text and then let's just add another div within that let's cut and paste this span and this will be for password then we will enter and add an input for password as a so in field we type password then we will add a button just below this and in this button We will add text as login, a basic login page, which is nowhere would like, but let's just keep things simple for our basic understanding. Then we come back to our app.jsx file and we remove all this boilerplate code. Let's just keep the div class new app intact for now. And let's import our login page here so that we are able to see how it looks into our browser. So we import login from pages slash login then we add the login component here and we hit save now we go back to the browser and as you can see we have username and we have password field. and on picking of this login you are supposed to send the credentials to the server get the data from the server whether it's the username and password is correct or not and then show the home page we are not doing it today we are just going to navigate to home page directly we are skipping all the process in between but for now since this is just a front-end project let's just continue with basic things because the emphasis is on private routes and not all the other days but today so what we will do is we also have the home page here so we will first map each of these component to an address into our browser. For example, slash login would be mapped to the login component and slash home should get mapped to the home component or even just slash full form. And for that, we need React Router DOM because React Router DOM allows us to map each component to a specific address into our browser. So in this case, slash login would be mapped to the login component, slash would get mapped to the home component. So for this, we need to install React Router DOM which is the npm package for handling routes in a react.js project. So let's just copy react router DOM, then kill the server 
I'm using a YAN package manager, which is why the command is YAN add. And if you are using not package manager, you can use npm install. Then I will run YAN dev to restart my server. And my server should get up. And the next thing that we need to do is add the routes similar to what we have in a quick start in React Router documentation. So in this, we have three components imported. First is browser router, which is a top level component. Then we have the routes component within that. And within that, we have the route component for mapping address to a particular component name. So what we will do is we will first import our home component using import home from pages home. Then we will import all these three components in our code. So let's just add it at the top. Then we will remove your class name app and replace it with browser router. Then within the browser router, there was routes component. So let's add that. And within the routes component, we had our route mapped. So let's just add a route. Then path for our home page will be slash. And then component or element, I think element. So let's just add element is equal to home and this is for our home page let's just go ahead and remove the login and replace it with route component as well so we come back to app.jsx we press login with route path is equal to slash login then element is equal to login and it's split. now let's just check if this works so as you can see we are currently at the login page and we are not seeing anything in our code let's just see the so if there are any others yeah we will have to add angle brackets here and now it should work yeah we have the home page and in the login we have our login page now on clicking on this username and password user should be able to log in into the home page so for that we can use the use navigate hook from react router dom is present here so let's import use navigate from react router from in our login.jsx file then create an instance of use navigate using const navigate is equal to use navigate hook then on click of this button let us define a hunger uh, function which is navigate to home and let's define that function top And here we use navigate to vote for home page and it's saved. Now if we come back to our page and add some dumb username and password, user is redirected to the home page. Now the issue with this kind of redirection is even if I directly go ahead and open the home component from my browser, the home page is accessible. Now this is not the way in which you would want your website to function and this is where the private routes comes in so what private route will do is it will try to make sure that home page is only accessible to authenticated users and not other users so for example unless and until the user is logged in uh, we won't allow the user to access our home page and that is what we are going to achieve using a private route in react router dom now in previous versions of react router dom it was quite easy to do it and even in version 6 it is quite easy so in this src folder, we will create another component which is called as private dot gsx. We the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to define const private 
is equal to a function. Within that, we will take children as our prop. And within this, we are first going to define a, this authenticated variable, which will be, let's just say, set to false, a Boolean value. Then we are going to return our children if and only our authentication is true. Well, that is, values are is authenticated and then a ternary operator and we will render our children if it is true or else we will navigate to the login page. Now, navigate is again another component which is present in React platform. So, this is used to navigate to certain components. So, this is the syntax you first import navigate from React platform. And then allow the user to sign into our page. So, what we will do next is we will import our private component app.jsx. And in our home page, instead of renting our home page directly, we'll add private component at the top of it. Now, if we come back to our browser and check the entry, and if we try to, okay, I haven't exported the private component. Let me just export it, export. Now, as you can see, if I try to access my home page using slash on the browser, it will redirect me back to the login page. And unless and until the user is logged in, the home page won't be accessible. So the next thing that we can do is we can store our authentication status into a local storage item using local storage dot set item is authenticated and set this value to true. So if a user adds username and password and if it is correct, we will store the cookie or some local storage to our browser. Typically, this should happen only after a server check. For now, we are doing it directly. So the next thing that we do is in our app.jsx or sorry, in our private.jsx, we will check whether this entry is present in local storage dot get item and is authenticated. And now let's just see in this box. So we go with ASDF and some random password. And now if we hit login, there should be an entry made okay, to our local storage. So as you can see, we have the entry which is authenticated to set to true. So in our private.jsx, we will use this entry. And it's save. Now, if you try to log in into our page, now home page is accessible only when user and name and password is correct. And next time we try to log in into our page, the home page will be accessible. Now, if I remove this local storage from the storage entry using delete, then I will be directed back to the login page. So, this takes some time. So, as you can see, if the local storage item is not present, then the user is directed back to the login page so that's the end of the middle of our session which was about adding private route in react router dom now as compared now we come to the resources part now this session is heavily inspired from the article by andrew in which he has explained all this process in detail i'm going to share a link to this article in the video description and you can check it to learn about more about private routes in react just from the article part as well so that's it from my end for today thank you and have a nice day goodbye